Good morning traders. Welcome to this week's Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a wonderful week. In fact, I hope you all had a wonderful year because this is the last webinar for this year. Uh, that is the weekly outlook. So the next weekly outlook we are going to have is going to be in the second week of January. Let's just make sure of the date when that is going to be. It is going to be on the 10th of January. 2021 so we're going on holidays now we will only resume on the 10th of january 2021 right i hope i contributed positively to your trading this year if you're still struggling uh, you can still purchase the course and study it over the holidays uh, on our website you can find our website uh, on the link as you can see under the description of all our videos so the course is fully recorded and then we have the live course on the 8th of february the next live course is only going to be on the 8th of february we've just completed the uh, the december course on the 11th of december a very good course um, so if you'd like to learn that over the holidays you can check it out on elliotwaveprinciple.com for the rest of our contact details uh, that is uh, the phone number the mobile number that you can use for both whatsapp and telegram uh, our um, our uh, trading view link there click on the trading view link exactly as it is uh, do not look for victor manena because you're not going to find me there it is actually v manena that is my profile there uh, check out our social media profiles on uh, facebook and twitter you can follow us on twitter and like our facebook page you can click directly on those links right let's get started with uh, this week's analysis even though we are leading up to the festive season there are still some great setups we have still been making money uh, as far as as latest as the last week so let's check out the latest trade recaps and i will not go through all of them i'll go th through some as we're doing the market analysis so let's just start from uh, what is the date yet? So this is from the 8th of December. Let's start from the 8th of December. Uh, the trade setups that I show you here are trade setups that we discussed during the weekly outlook and we execute them during our live trading room. Right, so some of them, I'll show them uh, as, uh, as, as they're running. Uh, so let's start with the, the DAX. Uh, so the DAX, this is a setup from, let's just see here. This was from the 8th of December. Just want to get the date right here and make sure that we've got full screen here. Let's put, in, let's put it up on full screen so we can see the dates clearly here as well. So this was on the 8th of December and the DAX, we have discussed this. There's a setup very similar to what we've seen on the Nikkei. So we were looking for this one to make a bounce to the upside. The DAX has already started to make this move. We are around this area at this stage. So if we just go to uh, the current, let, before we go to that one, let's go to the live chart on the DAX here. Uh, the live DAX chart. Let's just have a look at how that is playing out so we can show you. Let's have a look. So this is the DAX. We've discussed this one in depth last week, comparing it to the Nikkei. So this is the DAX. So this was the setup here, as you can see. So we were looking for this one to make a break from here, just like that. It made one more move to the downside and then started making a move to the upside. We are still looking for the DAX to make a continuation pattern to the upside even in the next week. So basically the indices, we're still expecting further upside uh, even in this coming week. So that was the DAX. The new setup that we've got was the Audi New Zealand. So Audi New Zealand, we looked for this to get to around 700. We are around 670 now. We just a few pips before target I do believe that this can still push much higher, but this is where we are currently. Let's just go to Audi New Zealand uh, on the current chart so you can see where we are here. Let's go to Audi New Zealand. Right, Audi New Zealand. There we go. So we're just a few pips shy of the target. As you can see, we are just a few pips shy of the target. You can actually take profit here. It's only just a measly few pips. You can actually reach the target. So it's a very, very good trade textbook setup. No pain at all. It just goes straight into target. That is Audi New Zealand. Very good trade setup that we've had there. Right, uh, that is uh, Audi New Zealand. Let's look for the rest here. 
Uh, this is uh, Eurochief. So Eurochief, we did not get this one right. We've been uh, actually had two entries that did not go through on this one here. So I was expecting Eurochief to go from there. It made a double here. It made one more move to the upside. It's actually made a move to around this level. It is now only dropping from this level. So it was a timing issue here on uh, uh, Audi Chief. Uh, we'll show you the, the setup just now. So it was a timing issue here. We did not get this one right. Reach, hit our stop, and now it is now going to do this. So let's have a look at the live chart on Audi, uh, rather Euro Chief. Let's have a look at it. Euro Chief. Right, looks like it's only going to start the drop now. So this is where we were. We wanted to, this to drop from here. Did not. It makes a double. One, two, three. We are now only dropping from here. That's okay. We're going to look for a new entry here from the downside. You can see that it has just hit our stop and then started making a move to the downside. That happens. That is part of trading. So we'll be looking for this one here. We'll look for a new entry there on uh, Euro Chief. Right, that is a uh, Euro Chief, and next one is a uh, CAD Yen, another textbook setup, painless trade. It just goes straight as forecasted. We are now around this level uh, on uh, CAD Yen. Let's have a look at how this is playing out. CAD Yen. So that is CAD Yen, as you can see there. So painless trade, really painless trade. Nothing has changed since we have taken the trade here. As you can see, this was the drop already around 70, 70 easy pips to the downside. We're still expecting this to go much further down, even further than the target. We've put in a modest target here. If it keeps continuing there, we're gonna keep taking it to the downside. That is a CAD Yen. Let's look at the rest of the setups. And this is only for the last week, by the way. Right, so this is Chief Yen. Chief Yen has been, uh, we've been looking for this to drop, but it has just been going sideways like this here. So let's have a look at the, the current Chief Yen chart. Let's have a look here. Chief Yen, how is that playing out? We're looking for a drop there. It is still not happening yet, but as you can see here, we are still expecting this to continue to the downside. Even if this is a pullback, we're still expecting Chief Yen to follow that trade for it to play out. Right, so it will still update that shortly. That is Chief Yen, and the next one is, uh, this is Eurochief. This was another entry on Eurochief, as, you could, if you've, as you've seen it, it made two, this was, the, uh, this was actually the first one. That was the entry that we we're looking at from the blue box. It actually did this double here, made a move to around this level and started dropping here from this level. Right, that is a uh, Euro chief, and those are all the setups for the last week. Some of the forecasted moves. Let's go to. We've posted some of these moves on our social media pages. Let's go to our Facebook page. So, if you want to see some of these moves or the setups that we forecast on our website for the members, you can find them here on our social media pages. Now, here I'm only looking at uh, our Facebook page. If you look at pound yen. Pound Yen had two moves. So Pound Yen, we were looking for these to drop from here and then make a move to the upside. Now look where we are, what happened after that. So this is what Pound Yen has done. So we've had that drop. If you look at Pound Yen now, we are around or we are already around this area. We're looking for this one to push higher. So you can check this one out and on our social media page. Uh, so let's just look here. That's not the only one. There's a number of setups that we post up there. So you can check it out. This one was Pound Audi. Pound Audi, we've also focused it from around this level expecting it to drop we have now dropped and reached that target that is uh, uh, pound Audi so you can see here this was the forecast here the forecast was here was this to drop here you could see that it was dropping making a correction dropping making a correction so a number of entries until we got down to this level now if we go and check your charts you'll see that Pound Audi has already made this move that we're expecting to the upside. You will see shortly when we start with the, the market analysis. So very good setup that we've seen here on uh, Pound Audi. Let's look at, at the rest here. So now this one is Euro New Zealand. This has to be the trade of the year. This is over a thousand pips in just uh, in just one move. We forecasted three moves here that have all played out. If you look at some of the previous videos, you'll see that we focused that the Euro, Euro New Zealand was going to drop from here. It was gonna make a push to the upside here, and it was going to drop all of these pips. This is a thousand pips alone, excluding these 500 pips, excluding these 300. So this is 300 here, this is 500 here, and this is over 1,035 pips here. So 1,800 
pips in just a single trade here. This is how Euro New Zealand has played out. And you can see now we are already the, at this level. Uh, let's just play that one out. So this is where we are. So that was the setup. We started here, forecasted this move to the downside, forecasted this move to the upside. The latest one that you're seeing here is this thousand pips that we focused from here. And now even this correction that is playing out has been focused and we are looking for this one to come continued with a drop after it is done with this move. You'll see as we do the market analysis shortly. This could be one of the trades of the year. Right, so that was uh, Euro New Zealand. Let's see if we still have any more here. Right, so even our links for the webinars, uh, the live webinar links, uh, the links to these uh, videos, you can find them on our social media pages. So everything is posted on the social media pages. If you prefer Facebook, you'll find it on our Facebook page. If you prefer Twitter, you'll find it on our Twitter page as well. Right, let's get started with this week's analysis. Very interesting setup. By interesting, I mean clear structures. Let's start with the Euro US dollar and the DXY. We'll start with the Euro US dollar and I'll show you what this looks like for our members, what our members get uh, on, on the website. So this is a US, dollar. let's look at the US dollar pairs and we look at the Euro US dollar. So last week I indicated that we are looking for this internal a uh, green degree here to make five waves, which you already have now. So we've, we're looking for this to make one, two, three, four, and a five. This is a four hour chart. So this you'll find the detail on the one hour. So Euro has made one, two, three, and we are currently in this five. Now we're looking for a deeper wave four in the red degree. We're looking for this to make this deeper wave four and then push to the upside. Let's just look at the Euro currently. So this is what it looks like. We have made all those five waves uh, to the upside. So the five waves that we're seeing here on the four hour in the green degree that I'm showing you is this here. So let's show that green degree. It is this one, two, three. We've got that four, we've got that five. This five may still push a little bit higher. Then we're gonna have this as the red degree here. One, two, three. This whole green is a three. We're looking for that deeper wave four and then a five. Then we'll complete this move to the upside. Where does that all come from? If I just show you the structure here on the higher degree, let's clear this. In the, on the higher degree, that wave four is coming from this. We are completing this last move to the upside here uh, on uh, Euro. The red degree that you see is this line that I'm showing you here. This is the one, two, three, four, five that we're looking for. That four in the red degree that still needs to play is this one. And we're looking for this to continue to the upside. That is the Euro. And the DXY will be obviously the inverse of what I've just shown you now. Let's look at the DXY. So the DXY has had a similar structure. You can see the five waves that we're looking at. One, two, three, four, and a five. Just like the Euro, we've got this green degree here, which is one, two, three. We're looking for this four, and then this five, this, this five in the green degree to complete the red three. Let's go look at the DXY. It is just the inverse of the Euro no difference at all. So this is the green degree that you're seeing here on the DXY. Let's have a look here. Let's put it up here. One, two, three, four, and a five. And we also have this one, two, three, looking for the four and then a five as well. So that is one, two, three, four is what we're expecting and then a five. So we're still expecting the DXY or the dollar index to be uh, bearish in the coming sessions. Right, let's look at the rest of the structures. This is now pound US dollar. Let's have a look at pound US dollar. Right, so pound US dollar. Let's look at the website here on the forecast. Let's look at pound US dollar on the four hour. So pound US dollar, last week you saw the forecast. We were looking for this to either drop completely down here or make a move to the upside. So the forecast was that this was gonna make a correction. It was gonna make a move from here. And if we get a correction here, it was gonna push a bit further, further higher. So we're expecting this one. We've, we've already broken this high here. We've already broken this high. So this may still continue to the upside. Let's just have a look at the current structure on pound US dollar. So on pound US dollar and looking at, the, let's just have a look here. So it looks like we're still bullish here, even if it is one more up. There's an, another alternative that I'm gonna show you shortly. So even if this is one more up here, 
and we start dropping here. So this is the alternative that I wanna show you. The other alternative is this one here. This may have made three waves up here, three waves down here, three waves up here, three waves down here. And this may be the last three waves here. And if it is this last three waves here, uh, that means we've got one, two, three in one, one, two, three in this one, one, two, three in this, one, two, three here, one, two, uh, let's just do this one clearly. One, one, two, and the last move to the upside. What structure will this be? This will be a W, X, Y, X, Z. Okay, now if that is the case, that means we still have these in play. This move to the downside, all of this correction, and we're gonna make a move to the downside, either a running, regular, or an expanding flat before we continue with the move to the upside. So let's watch this for the next couple of sessions. Uh, so for this one to correct and give us one more up, then we're gonna start looking for the move to the downside. So this will need to be confirmed. It is at a critical level here. We need to confirm what structure we're going to get here. So there are two alternatives as you've seen. Uh, US dollar chief is exactly the same as the DXY. So the US dollar chief is exactly the same as the DXY as forecasted here on the side. We're looking for this one to be the wave four. So this is the wave four in the white degree there. This one here, wave four, and then looking for a drop. It is still currently dropping. And that is still the wave four. So we still expect this one to give us a corrective structure in the wave four and then downside for that last wave five that you see in the white degree. US to like head, let's have a look at US to like head as well. Let's look at the US like head. Still very bearish. I've shown you this on the monthly last week as well. So US to like head will just keep pushing lower. So we're looking for this to complete this uh, wave three here in this degree. Right, so that is a US dollar CAD. Right, that is a US dollar CAD. Continuation to the downside. If you look at US dollar CAD, it's still very bearish, even on the long term. I've shown you this last week. Let's look at the weekly chart. You'll see that US dollar CAD, you just need to keep selling this. You need to keep selling this. So this was a forecast, a forecast from here. Uh, from when we're still here, we expected this to go up here. We're looking for these thousand pips to the downside here. Right, so that is a US dollar CAD, still very bearish. Right, let's look at Audi and New Zealand. Audi and New Zealand have been bullish in the last couple of sessions, in the last couple of months, actually. So from the beginning of 2020, uh, around March, uh, Audi and uh, New Zealand have been bullish. And as you can see here, this is where it comes from. They have been making this five wave structure. So this is a one here. You can see the two clearly here, three, four, and we are currently in this wave five. Now this structure indicates that even if we do get a pullback here, back to the 38 or the 50%, this is still going to continue much higher. So Audi and New Zealand are very bullish. Right, so let's see here, are we seeing any divergence? We're not even seeing divergence in this between waves three and four. So that means this could be even further higher. This is not divergence, this is still pushing higher. Price and the indicator are still doing the same thing. So that is not divergence. So we may still push much higher on Audi and New Zealand. Uh, let's go back to the four hour and see what we're expecting in the short term. So in the short term, we're still expecting a bit of a push to the upside, even if this is gonna make a, a corrective structure here, but this is still pretty much bullish and we're not expecting a deeper correction anytime soon. No confirmation of that as yet. We're still expecting this to push higher. New Zealand is exactly the same, very bullish. Also making an impulsive move from the beginning of the year, around March this year. So as you can see, this has been a bullish move. Is that an extended wave five? That may be an extended wave five. There is one, two, three, four. We are now in this last wave five. Any pullback here will be, will be a correction and then we'll look for this one to push higher. Okay, so that is uh, New Zealand. Let's look at uh, the short term here on the four hour. Also bullish, expecting this to continue to the upside. Let's have a look here. 
We're expecting continuation to the upside here. There's no indication of a reversal here. This is still, will still push to the upside. Right, so that is uh, New Zealand. Uh, US dollar ZAR is in the zone. So from around, from around any from any time now, we should start expecting US dollar ZAR to start turning around. Uh, we are currently in the blue box that we focused when we we're expecting this on uh, US dollar ZAR. Let me just switch off everything here to remove all these uh, fib lines here. So we can just have a look at uh, this one here. So US dollar ZAR, the structure we've had for the last couple of weeks now, and it looks like it is playing out. So we look here. So this is a three wave structure on US dollar ZAR that we're looking at here. I want to have the whole chart visible. So you can see what we're looking at. So US Lazar, five waves down, three waves up, and we're looking for this to be the five waves to the downside. Then we'll expect this one to continue to the upside, possibly to the lower boundary of this channel here, then we'll start making a bounce. So that is our US Lazar. You don't need to do anything at this stage. Uh, we'll look for this one to start pushing to the upside. Then we're gonna be looking for this. That is a US dollar ZAR. Let's go now to the yen pairs. Let's look at pound yen. Pound yen, I've just shown you pound. Let's have a look at. Okay, let's have a look at a pound. Pound yen. Uh, this is the one that I showed you on the social media page. They want to look at this one on Twitter here. Pound yen. So here it is. So the focus on this one was for this to come down here and push up higher. We've already had the drop. We've already had this drop here, straight clearly. Drop, and then we're expecting this one to continue to the upside. Let's have a look at it. Live chat now. Let's have a look what are we getting here on pound yen. Let's uh, switch off everything here and just have a look at the structure. So this is where we were. We've had this forecast from here. We had the drop now in three waves. So that means this did three waves down, three waves up, three waves down continuation pattern. That is why we focus at pound yen to push to the upside. Are we gonna push higher or is this gonna go and make a complex correction? We're expecting this to push, uh, to continue pushing to the upside, right? So let's have a look at this structure here. Pound yen looks like it's still gonna continue to the upside here. Indicator still confirming bullish uh, move to the upside here. So we're still expecting this flag to be a continuation pattern to the upside. Another alternative, which you don't need to look at now is this, that you have this as a move to the downside. That means you're gonna have this as a three wave structure and you're gonna have this one as a complex correction. One more down before we make a move to the upside. So that is a possibility here, but we are already in a move to the upside here on pound yen, right? Uh, US dollar yen, I don't know why we did not see this forecast on uh, the setups because we've got this one on the setups as a down move. Let me look at trade setups for US dollar yen. We've got a trade setup on uh, US dollar yen for downside. Here it is. So we focused on this move, it's playing out textbook, like a textbook setup. So here it is, this is the focus on US dollar yen. It did make a bit of a push to the upside like this, and then it is now dropping here like that. We did not hit the stop. So our trade is in play. We've reached around 103 level here. Let's have a look at how this is playing out now. So US dollar yen, let's have a look at it. So this was our setup here. Let's remove this. So our setup here was here on US dollar yen, as I've shown. This was where it is. We were looking for this to drop from here. Makes one more up, but that does that does not a that's not a problem because we've got one, two, three to the upside. Does not hit our stop when we start dropping here like this. We're still expecting further downside on US dollar yen. Okay, so this is a pullback. So we're still expecting this one to be a continuation pattern to the downside, as so we can get to our target. Playing out inch perfect. Right, so that is a US dollar yen, a euro yen, expecting downside here. So we've made a bit of a move to the upside. That move to the upside is coming with divergence. This was a corrective structure. We're expecting this to continue to the downside here, but it has made this slight move to the upside. This move to the upside is not the one to go. Uh, it is not, it's coming with divergence. We, we've made this small move here. So we're expecting this one to come down like that. So if you look at the setup here on the, the euro, so we look at the euro. So the advantage of this site here is that at any given time, 
uh, you can go into the site and check out what our direction is or what our forecast is. So we've been forecasting Euro Yen to drop from around the 13th of December. It's just been going sideways, makes one more move to the upside. This is now looking like divergence and we're looking for this one to continue to the downside. So the view still stand, uh, stands on uh, Euro Yen. Chief Yen, we've got a setup on this one. As you've seen uh, during the trade setups, we're expecting this one to still make a continuation to the downside and continue the drop to the downside. KDN, Yen, you saw the trade setup on this one as well. We took this setup here. As you can see here, we're still expecting this one to make a continuation pattern to the downside. Any continuation pattern to the downside, you can take it. Can even go much further. We've put in a modest target because we don't want to give back our profits on this one. If we just show you the structure and the reason why we expected that, uh, let's just have a look here on KDN. Uh, so KDN, that is because of this move here. So we're expecting this one to come down here. That is why we've tra we're trading this leg here on KDN. Easy as that, right? New Zealand and Audi, exactly the same as uh, uh, as New Zealand and uh, New Zealand US dollar and uh, Audi US dollar. So New Zealand yen and Audi US dollar are exactly the same. They've been making a pulsing move to the upside. Let's have a look at them both at the same time. So they're making pulsing move to their pulsing moves to the upside. We still expect continuation patterns to the upside even in the next week on both pairs. So that is New Zealand. This is Audi. You can see they've got a flare. They're making continuation patterns to the upside here. Let's remove this. We expected a pullback with that Gatli pattern that did not play out. Uh, it has just been bullish. So this we still expect a bit of a continuation pattern to the upside, but you don't want to buy at these levels. It's too risky to buy at those at those levels. Uh, Let's look at the commodities now, silver and gold. Silver and gold, very interesting. Uh, let's uh, remove this. Uh, it's playing out exactly as we've been focusing for the last couple of weeks or last couple of months within this corrective structure, way, be, way back when this corrective structure started. We expected this to be a one, two, three waves to the downside. And we expected this to be a three wave pullback like that. And as I've detailed last couple of weeks, I said, this does not look like all the move to the downside. We should get a move like this and then a move to the downside. Then it will be a clear WXY structure. It will be a decent corrective structure. Then we'll look for down for upside. This may be coming down to around the wave uh, two here. So this uh, wave around the wave two. So this may not be the wave four that we've been expecting. Uh, what, what am I talking about? Let me show you what we're talking about here. So that, Gold making this double like this will invalidate the pulsing move to the upside. So this is the pulsing move. I want to show you the pulsing move and what we focused on gold. So and how that's going to have the implication of that on gold. Let's have a look at commodities and look at gold. So gold for our, that is the structure. Uh, this, is, this is now looking for this corrective structure. So you can see the pullback here. This is the pullback on gold that we expected down and then upside. So that is the focus to the upside that you see on gold. We are now around this area. So we may be making, so there's a possibility that we may be going already from around these levels, but we want to see at this current level where we are, we are around, the, we are around here. Are we not gonna get a move to the downside to make a double? So the implication of a double is that it invalidates the pulsing move in the higher degree. Let's have a look at the higher degree here. So the higher degree is this daily here. Show you what we're talking about here. So if that makes a double, that means our wave four here, this is the wave four that we're currently in. The double that I'm talking about is this one. This may come and you can see that we've got a red line. That is our invalidation level. We don't want this structure to come down here. If it comes down here, that means this pulsing move is invalidated. So in that case, so we may have gold already ready to go to the upside. So we just need to confirm. If we know if we're going to get a continuation pattern from here, we are around here now. If we get a continuation pattern around here and on gold, now we're not going to expect that downside. And now, impulsive structure to the upside will still be intact. Right, so that is gold, silver. Silver, very interesting, is making a nice flat correction here. So, this is silver, a move to the upside in three waves, a move back in three. Uh, so let's, let's do it like this. So this one is like this here. We've got a complex correction. One, two, three up, one, two, three down, 
one, two, three up. Is it time for silver to push to the downside? We may still have a continuation pattern here for one more up. Similar to gold, we've got a continuation pattern for one more up. Let's see what happens with this continuation pattern. Are we gonna get this on silver? We already have this as a three wave move to the downside. Is this gonna be a three waves up? And then we get one more down here, just like gold before we push higher. Then that will be a WXY structure. Okay, let's make it clear here so you can see. Uh, so that is what we have here. One, two, three down, W, one, two, three up, X. So your X here, if I show you in a different color so you can see clearly where the X starts from. So this is the X degree, this is the X wave. So that is what we have here. So W, X and the Y on silver. So, but we are currently here, we want to see if we're gonna get that move to the downside. Right, that is uh, silver and gold. Let's look at oil. Oil is looking upside to around 60. We are currently in this wave here. Uh, let's look at the daily here on oil. Let's uh, show the structure here. So oil may still get up to 60. We're focusing around the 60 area here on oil after it made this corrective structure. Let's get my annotation tool back here. So oil made this uh, three wave structure uh, change here. This complex correction here in three waves. There was a move down A, B, and a C. Right now we're making this impulsive move to the upside. So there is a possibility that we are making a A in the higher degree. And this whole thing here is a B and this is going to go all the way up to around 60 level. So any continuation pattern to the upside gains an opportunity to ride onto this trend. If you get a decent entry like this, similar size as that, then you can hop onto oil up until around the 60 area. Right, so that is uh, uh, all the commodities. Let's have a look now at the pound pairs. Uh, pound chief, very interesting. So if you look at the deeper corrective structure here, Let's look at the go, the, the focus here first uh, on the pound press, pound chief. So if you look at pound chief, get my annotation here again, it keeps disappearing. So we've got these three waves up here. We have made this drop, which we focused it. We are now, we've already now made this corrective structure. This corrective structure in the purple degree, this corrective structure is, we already have it. Let's go look at that chart here. So that is what we have here. Let's clear this and this so we can see only the structure. The corrective structure, we've already made that drop. The corrective structure that's focused is this one. We've had the drop. This is the corrective structure, that, the pullback that we are focusing and now we're expecting this to make a continuation to the downside. So pound chief still expecting much further downside. Let's uh, remove some of this here. It's uh, getting cluttered now. So this is what it is, uh, and this is the forecast here. Now we're looking for the white purple, the purple to the downside here. We've got this, and then we're looking for this. The setup that you've got here now on pound chief is that purple Y degree. All right, so that is a pound, a pound cad. Pound cad, let's have a look here on the side here. Uh, pound cad. I'm going with the sequences I have it on trading view. So pound cad. Remember last week how we or the last two weeks how we how we focused this move to the downside. From here, we're expecting this to continue to the downside. Now this was on the 12th of December. We were focusing that at this level we're going to start making a move to the upside. How did we know that? Let's have a look at how this is playing out. As you can see, from exactly that area we have made a move to the to the upside. How did we know that, that was gonna happen? Because we've got a sequence, we've got the indicator that tells us when we've got the reversal. Now we're looking for continuation pattern to the upside on pound cat, right? That is pound cat, let's look at the rest. Next one is pound Audi. We've already looked at pound Audi. And just like pound cat, we focused this upside move. Let me get my annotation tool at the top here. So we focus on this upside move after we got this trade set up from around here. We expected this to drop here. Now, just last week, we forecasted that that was gonna, we we're gonna make a reversal from that area. This is pound Audi. As you can see, how did we know that this was gonna reverse from here? We, this did not reverse exactly from here. We had a continuation pattern here, one more down here and then upside. So let's have a look here. 
this is how it's playing out as you can see pinpointed as you can see here and then we start reversing exactly pinpointed through the reversal are we going to make a continuation pattern to the upside that is expectation here on pound audi lastly on the pound pest pound new zealand just like the rest we forecasted that this was going to make a reversal from around this this is actually the one that we expected a reversal from here but makes a continuation pattern for one more down now we're looking for this one to continue to the upside this is what it looks like pound new zealand so members get all of these way before they happen now we're looking for this to continue to the upside let's look at the euro pairs now pound uh, euro pound let's start with euro pound so euro pound we focused this when this was still at this level and i keep saying we focused it and i'm expecting those that are watching that have been watching for a while to know when we forecasted this or you can always just refer back to the previous videos uh, you just track back to the play to around the area where the dates where this had not played out yet and start playing the videos you'll see that around this level we said that this was going to make a push to the upside we expected this to be a w x y structure and then a move to the upside we've got the move to the upside now it is not going up impulsively as you expected so this may be making a one two three up and we could be having this as a one two three down now we start expecting one two three to the upside so let's watch how this is going to play out that is a euro pound euro audi euro audi after this big corrective structure here we saw uh, this is the bigger corrective structure here as you can see here We've had this one, the, we've had that corrective structure. So this dropped here. So we knew that this was gonna be a continuation pattern when this made a flat here, starts dropping. This was another continuation pattern. So this is gonna keep dropping. We're still gonna expect this to continue to the downside. No signs of reversal as yet. We have now broken this level and we are connecting it right at that level. Breaking that means we're going to continue much lower. Uh, Eurocad. So Eurocad, Eurocad we actually sold here, makes a move to the upside. We forecasted that this is gonna make one more move to the downside. It is just going sideways. So this one, we're gonna to have to relook and evaluate again. So let's just have a look at what our forecasted move is on, uh, uh, this is a Eurocad. Let's have a look at it. Go to the Euro pairs on Eurocad. Right, uh, Eurocad, it's been a stubborn one, but let's have a look. That's what we have here. Uh, we're looking for this to make a bit of a pullback here, but this pullback has now been deeper. So let's see if we're still gonna get this drop and then upside here, that is a uh, Eurocad. So we've got this, this focus was for this to just come around here and then drop, but let's not playing out as we focused there. So we'll update this. That is a Eurocad, Eurochief. We've already gone through this one during trade setups. We're still expecting this one to now start dropping after making these three waves to the downside, to the upside. Now we're expecting this. This could be a trade setup for the next week. Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand, if we go to the site here, let's have a look. So we expected these two correct here. We are making this correction. We've made this correction. I'm gonna make one more up and then downside. Let's have a look at it. This is Euro, that's what we have. We already have this. As you could see, it is making this correctively. Now the expectation is one more up and then downside. That is a Euro New Zealand. Let's see here, you can see the correction. That was focused, that's played out. Now we expect one more up and then continuation to the downside. That is a Euro New Zealand and that's all the Euro pairs. Let's have a look at Audi New Zealand. Audi New Zealand, we already looked at this one during trade setups. It's already played out. Uh, let's have a look here. On Audi New Zealand. We have this one as a trade setup. We bought this one here, expecting this one to make at least a three-way move, but this looks pretty impulsive so this may still continue to the upside any continuation pattern can still buy but if you like you can you should take profits here because we're going to get a corrective structure if we get a corrective structure you can get another entry for upside on audi new zealand audi cat now audi cat 
Audi Chief, very interesting structures because they just making policy moves to the upside. Five wave moves, as I've indicated last week. One, two, three, four, upside. Now, you, all you want here is a corrective structure, but this is not ready as yet. But we'll be expecting this corrective structure for continuation to the upside. This may pull back to 38 or 61, but we'll watch it as it plays out. Audi, Cat, Audi Chief is exactly the same. Five wave move to the upside. The fifth wave is not complete as yet. One, two, three, four expanding flat here. We're still expecting the fifth wave to continue to the upside. That is uh, Audi Chief, New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD also within this uh, lower degree, fifth wave, I'm gonna show it in red. One, two, three, four, expecting this one to be a five here. We already have this one as a one, two, this is going to be a three and a four and a five. So is this still expecting to be upside. New Zealand Chief. New Zealand Chief is going sideways. Let's have a look at this one here. One, two, three. Expect this one to make at least a move around this level. If it's going to be any continuation to the upside, it's going to come around this level. That is a New Zealand Chief. Cat Chief. Get chief, we've had this one here. We had a trade set up for this one to the upside here. We bought pull spec here. We had a trade set up for this one to make a one, two, three, and upside. We did not get this one here. It is still going sideways. So that means this correction here is still in play. So we may still have something like this before we any move to the upside. Okay, so let's see there. That is cat chief is going sideways, it's not going anywhere. Those are all the Forex pairs. Now let's go to the indices. Indices are very interesting. Uh, let's just have a look at the structure here on the indices so you can see as this is the last webinar for this year. Uh, indices. We have focused all of these moves to the upside, this fifth wave. We're still expecting continuation to the upside. We did not only start forecasting here on uh, last week. We've been forecasting these moves to the upside when we got to this level. If you look at the videos around these dates, you will see, go to the place where the S&P 500 was here, you'll see that we focused that we are going to have this as a wave five. And this is now playing out as, as exactly as forecasted. We're still expecting the S&P 500 to keep pushing up higher. So the S&P 500, uh, as well as the Dow Jones, industrial and transportation, we're expecting them to play out to the upside, just an impulse move. So that is the S&P 500, uh, the Dow, this is the transportation, just upside. We're still expecting just contribution to the upside. So from here, after this correction, we expected the push to the upside to complete that yellow wave five. Uh, this one is uh, the NASDAQ. Let's have a look at the NASDAQ. Playing out as expected, keeps pushing up higher. Corrective structure here. Uh, this is the corrective structure. Now it's making these five waves here. One, two, three, four, five to complete the yellow wave five. Uh, that is the, uh, we've now look at the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow UK 100. You have to go back to around the time when we were here because we said we, this was going to come around this area, exactly this area pinpointed and was going to push to the upside. Gave another entry here, keeps pushing up higher. So we're expecting this to be a WXY structure in the blue degree. This is the blue degree that you see here, this WXY to come around this level. Right, so still expecting this one to continue to the upside. That is the UK 100. Right, uh, that is the UK 100, the DAX. You've seen how uh, we focused the DAX, uh, comparing it to the Nikkei structure. So we have shown you this during trade setups. So the DAX makes this move here and continues to the upside. Expect this to continue to the upside. The structure on the DAX is this here. Continuation to the upside. That was the focus. We still have the focus on the side here. Expect this one to push up higher. And as you can see, we've started pushing to the upside on the DAX. Nikkei, last uh, listed instrument on the website. So the Nikkei, we focused this move around here. We've had this for a while, while it was correcting here, expecting this one to make a shoot to the upside here, which eventually happened. Now this is a continuation pattern. We still expect this to continue to the upside. 
right uh, that is uh, the nikkei and lastly the nifty nifty is just on an impulse to the upside no sign of reversal any continuation pattern is still expected to continue to the upside that is all i have for you this week and all of this year thank you for all the likes thank you for sharing the videos for all the comments and suggestions we'll see you again again last next year wishing you safe and happy holidays cheers everybody bye bye